Hey guys, good morning. I am starting my day off with some coffee. I'm using my Starbucks Disney cup. I also have the Java sock because these, I don't know how people do it, but they tend to sweat for me, especially if you don't drink your coffee quick enough. So I have that brewing up some espresso and I'm also having a breakfast sandwich because I'm too lazy to cook regular food. I wonder if I saw this, what was it, TikTok or something? Uh, uh, or you can plant a mango seed. Wait, Daddy planting a, a seed to make another plant? It's a mango. A mango? Why would you want to, wait, can you even plant a mango? Yeah, we're gonna see. <laughs> Can you just back now? It's getting lemony. A little bit more. This is how we make lemon when we don't have fresh lemonade or fresh lemons. Okay, let me stir it. Let me see what it looks like. Or you stir it. Let me see what it looks like. Can someone stir it too with me? Yeah, hold her hand. Your nails are long, Mama. Let me have my hand warm. It used to be like a little slush. Just, Everly, you hoarding all the shoes or what? Where's your camera? Mom? Everly, and grandma has it. You hoarding all the shoes? No. Okay, there we go. Help mommy water. Thank you. Surprisingly, even though my plants look like this, I do have a huge cucumber right there and some tomatoes over there. And there's my little basil plant. But you see, we had to rip up everything from the garden. Everything got ripped up because it just was so overgrown, dead. I just, I could, it was so much. Like the, the watermelon plants completely choked out everything and they were super dead. So it's fine. All of, I have an eggplant over there and a bunch of peppers. So, oh, y'all done? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so we're going to see if we can kind of keep those going. Are you going to water with that one? Bring it here. Mommy, give me some water. And see how it goes. So I've just been trying to pay extra attention to them, make sure they get plenty of water. Here, Mommy, fill it for you. Ready? Okay, go ahead and go water. Go water. Mm -hmm. Take it. Like this. Look. Here. Grab it and go water. Here, you want to do it? Okay, there we go. Oh, thank you. Good girl. Okay. <laughs> She's so cute. I love this age. This is also in. Go ahead. Keep going. Mommy doesn't mind. She like. Just don't pull up the plants, okay? Just the dirt. She likes to put the dirt in the bucket. Whatever keeps her busy. Good job, Beverly. Good job, Mama. Okay. Let's get this cucumber right here. He's gonna, whoa, there he goes. He's a big guy. Super excited. And it looks like I just have the one tomato, which I'm going to take because because when they're red like this, I think the birds are eating them or something. Because I have a bunch of green ones, but 
they don't turn red or if they turn red, I miss them. But I'm still so surprised because as you can see, my cucumber plant looks like he's struggling a bit. Um, I have a bunch of green leaves that is like new growth, but then all the old stuff is just dead and I trim them and they just keep dying. So I'm just gonna leave it, like leave it. I really am so surprised that it even is still producing fruit. I really am. Hey guys, it's really yeah. weird to <laughs> vlog on my phone, but I left my camera at my mom's house. Actually, I sent my camera with her. Let's see, Friday, the girls had their barbecue and their little like end of the season, what is it called? Party or whatever. Maddie had one and Emmy had one. Autumn hasn't had hers because her season actually finished up early because one of the parents caught COVID two weeks ago. And so we weren't around them, but because they had COVID, our season got canceled a little bit earlier. My hair, my hair's clean. This is what it looks like. Um, so anyway, Autumn is going to have to wait two whole weeks for her little party and she didn't get to have her last game, which is kind of disappointing, but I am vlogging on my phone because my mom has my camera. I sent it with the girls on Friday. I went to Emmy's barbecue, which is super fun. And my mom took the little, the middle girls to, uh, Peter Piper's for Maddie's into the season little party. And so I sent my camera with her and I forgot to grab it from her. So I didn't have my camera yesterday, which we didn't do anything besides finish up Emmy's game, her game and Maddie's performance yesterday, which I did get some footage of. Super fun, uh, Emmy won, they won their last game. It was really sad because they loved playing together. The whole team loved playing together, but the coach, well, technically the coach was the dad, but the daughter, is 16 I think she plays basketball almost said volleyball basketball not pro but she plays uh for her school and what is it called travel I don't, she plays like in a separate league that they have to pay for for her to be in and she's really good so her and her sister was on the team and then one of the boys that was on the team, his older brother that's also a junior that plays basketball, they coached the team. And because of that, they have they start school. So they couldn't they couldn't do another another, you know, like round of basketball. So Emmy's pretty bummed, but she starts cross country. I'm super excited. I'm actually going to a meeting tomorrow to find out more about like intramurals and and sports and stuff for middle school, which is kind of crazy. Oh, it's so crazy. So anyway, we're doing that and she has practiced a lot. She's gonna be after school a lot. So we're definitely not going to do sports for the fall for her because it'll just be too much for me to run everyone around. But anyway, so yesterday we did the game, we did Maddie's game, her performance, and then we came home and relaxed the rest of the day. What did we do last night? Um, I think we, um, we went to our parties, I think. No, that was Friday. Oh, um, last night, we didn't do anything last night, right? No. I we just hung out. No, that was Thursday. <laughs> Clearly, you don't remember just like I don't. The girls are outside swimming. Emmy just came in. You ready for lunch? Mm -hmm. I'm heating up corn dogs. I'm going to go ahead and go get change. You're done swimming? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? I'm sure. Okay. Besides, if I go in now, it's going to be freezing cold. Yeah, because you've been out for a little while. Yeah. So, uh, sorry, I know this is shaky. I actually feel a little bit jittery. But anyway, so... I don't even remember what we did yesterday, but it was a whole lot of nothing. We sat around and chilled. Oh, Andres went to go look at a minivan. That's what he did. And we just sat here. The girls watched Beethoven. That's what happened. They watched Beethoven, which is such a cute classic movie. They watched Beethoven and Beethoven 2. They loved them. So they did that and I sat around and chilled. I, it's so weird because my knee feels, I mean, 100%. Like... It was feeling so good. And then yesterday, Thursday, we went to SeaWorld and I walked like 11,000 miles, which is not a lot, but it's more than I have been walking. And I don't know if I pulled a muscle or something <laughs> trying to like limp and compensate for my knee. I really don't know what happened. And so because of that, my calf muscle was really hurting Friday. Friday, yeah, Friday. And yesterday morning I woke up and it kind of felt crampy. So I was trying to take it easy and my leg, my 
like back of my thigh all the way down to my calf just felt like somebody was tearing my muscle apart cramping super bad and again I think it's because I'm just trying to compensate for my knee which I don't feel like I need to compensate for my knee anymore but I think just subconsciously I'm making sure my big old body doesn't slam down on it <laughs> and I'm jacking up other parts of my body because of that and I hate it so anyway uh that's what happened yesterday so nothing super exciting but my mom had my camera since Friday and today's Sunday so yeah, the girls are having a grand old time. The middle girls are still in the pool. Everly's napping. Emmy just got out to go change. I'm making them some lunch. They're going to have lunch. And I've already got a bunch of stuff ready for back to school. We got outfits for the little girls need like a change of clothes in case of an accident or whatever. So I say little, I meant middle because Everly's not going anywhere. But I did that. I also had to get these dry erase something or other. They're like for math problems and stuff. So I had to get that. So I wrote their names on them. I put their name, their tags and stuff on their backpacks and their lunch boxes. We labeled their water bottles and all that good stuff. They start school in a couple days and it just is gonna be so much easier to have these types of things done. We're gonna make sure laundry's done this week. I'm also gonna make sure rooms are cleaned and bathrooms cleaned. And that way we can have like a good clean start every morning when we wake up for school because they won't be here and with them not being here the house won't get dirty but because i can never know where to hold this um the house won't get dirty i'll be the only one here to clean it with everly so if it gets dirty it'll be from us and i want it to start off super clean so that's what we're doing we're having tacos tonight for dinner because i have a bunch of rice and beans left over from the other night uh we have hair to do in the next few days and um yeah we had fun buns for not even a week before we straighten it she needs a good trim so we're gonna do that before school starts and we need to get some cross-country shoes for her i didn't really think that through when we were getting her school clothes and the sh basketball shoes that she had are not really made for cross-country so we're gonna leave the basketball shoes with basketball and we're going to get some cross-country shoes so that she can be nice and cushioned comfortable. comfortable for running we had to get her a uniform um i didn't even think about cross country when i was doing Blue. uniforms and everything so i had to get her athletic like school athletic gear we're gonna need to get her i actually have one but it's pink i don't know if she's gonna want to use that <laughs> but i have a a gym bag yeah they still need to be washed and yeah i tried to fix them I didn't use any hair ties. Yeah. I just went around they and then, then I flipped the end into the um when I went around. Smart. So anyway, yeah. So what we're doing today, um, I need to edit. I've been really good at my editing game. I was actually talking with Andres today about um, like starting to study. I think I'm gonna go ahead and buy the review program that I've been wanting to use. I think I'm gonna go ahead and buy that on Wednesday when the girls have their first day of school. Andres has a super long work week. He works 60 hours this week, which is kind of insane. So it's, it's gonna be me and only me, which is totally fine. It has been many, many times before. And he, you know, that's what happens when you have a full-time job and he has to make up for the days that he took off last week that weren't even anything, so. Anyway, ready for lunch? Mm -hmm. Let's do this. I don't know if this is the exact configuration that's going to work or not, and you're in the microwave, so it may be a little bit echoey. The girls are watching some sort of animal show where they like. Two just that one. Desserts, not <laughs> I'm. Uh, I thought you were watching the animal show. Pit stars. Oh, it's done. Uh, no, we switched to this because I wanted to make a show. Oh, okay. <laughs> they were watching Pet Stars where they like try and find animals that have Twitter followings and Instagram followings and I don't even know. Anyway, I'm about to cook dinner. <laughs> I just got done. I'm, I'm, I was behind on, um, not vlogs, on comments and stuff like that. So anyway, so I was going through comments and everything and I had, I had to laugh. So if you watch my uh, HKD1122 channel, then you have already seen, oh Lord. This is like 
dinner time is witching hour for us in this house. Everyone goes a little cray. Uh, but you've already seen my my Walmart pickup order. That was like a hot mess. I've never had as many problems with the Walmart pickup order as I had with this last one ever, ever. And I mean, I've done a lot of Walmart pickup orders and this one was a total disaster. So anyway, I, yeah, just had, <laughs> it was like when I was going through the order, I kept saying, I, I, I'm pretty sure I ordered on, only like one of these or I got a substitution and they gave me like twice as many as I was supposed to have. It just was kind of crazy. So y'all's comments are literally killing me. I, it, they're hilarious because I've never had a problem with Walmart grocery. You know, every once in a while they substitute stuff, but somebody said, what AGB and curbside could never. And I'm like, that's really true because I've only done H-E-B curbside because they charge $6 for curbside, although right now it's free. Why, I'm not exactly sure, but right now it's free, so I have done it. In fact, the order before this one was from H-E-B, but, or two orders ago, I don't really know. I kind of go back and forth. To me, Walmart's a lot easier to do than H-E-B, but once I got the hang of like reordering everything for my previous order at H-E-B, it became a lot easier for me, so. I go back and forth, but I've never had, I don't even think a substitution with H-E-B and Walmart substitutes stuff all the time, which normally it works out in my favor. So I really don't care. Um, like if I order generic and they don't have the generic, they'll substitute it for the brand for the same price. So I never really have had a problem, but I had, I was watching the haul back. I had double mayo. I had double uh, Doritos chips. They gave me an extra bag of regular chips. They gave me an extra thing of Pringles, two Polynesian ch like Chick-fil-A sauces uh, that I did not order. And so I went back and looked at the receipt and it's weird because they, I ordered two Chick-fil-A sauces. They substituted them for the Polynesian sauce, but gave me the Chick-fil-A sauce anyway, which is what ended up happening. The only extra thing that i didn't, I thought I ordered just one was the mayo and they gave me two. So I was like, oh my gosh, they gave me a free mayo, but I actually did have two in my cart. I paid for two, but everything else, everything was substituted and I, most of it ended out, ended up coming out better. Like the hot dogs, I bought two 16 packs, which is 32 and they gave me a 16 pack and three or four eight packs so anyway they just didn't it the quantities of things just didn't add up even when they were substituting the same item for like I ordered the ballpark uh I forget the brand ballpark I guess is a brand hot dogs in the 16 pack they gave me three ballpark packs in eight eight and eight so they ended up giving me an extra one um I ended up with extra of some of the breakfast stuff and it just the order was a hot mess, but you know what? Groceries are groceries. As long as I'm not overcharged, I was missing hamburger buns. So I called and they refunded me for that because I did pay for them and they weren't in my order. Um, but other than that, I really don't care. I, I mean, I really don't because again, food is food. And to me, it doesn't really matter. So they sent me like the wrong chuck roast or whatever. It wasn't even a chuck roast. It was like a steak. Uh, we can still use it. I'll get the chuck roast next time. But you guys are so funny in the comments. I just, I cannot, uh, y'all had me rolling. I was sitting there editing, or not editing, reading through the comments. And I was like, oh my gosh, y'all are funny. And I really thought, I prefaced that video galore because I was like, anytime I buy unhealthy processed foods, I get so much negativity. And sometimes I get negativity on my grocery hauls anyway, just because a lot of times they're big and a lot of them have gone viral. And typically, if you don't watch me regularly and, and something goes viral in the sense that it gets more than like it's normal amount of views, uh, people come out of the woodworks that don't know me, don't know what I'm about, how many kids I have, you know, have never watched me before. They're just watching that one haul and I get a lot of judgment, but I don't really care because I love, I, grocery hauls are like one of my favorite things to watch. So I love sharing them with you guys. So I prefaced it like this is completely not healthy. If you're following me for health tips, this ain't it. Because I already knew the haul was like completely processed, no healthy, no fresh, no nothing, quick convenience, expensive items in, in all reality. And so I prefaced it and I still got somebody that's like, that's so gross what you're feeding your kids. I'm like, 
cry me a river. I do my best and sometimes you just gotta buy the quick processed stuff, especially when you're trying to get four kids out of the house at six in the morning to get to school. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, the rest of the comments I had to laugh at. Like I said, you guys are so funny. And those of you really, I mean, even the negative comment, it just is so underweighed by all of the positivity that you guys always leave me. It just is funny that people take time. It's not even funny, it's pathetic that people take time out of their day to leave something negative when I clearly talked about it in the beginning, I talked about it in the end, and I listed it in the title. Like, why bother? I don't know. So anyway, thank you guys. I wanna say, really like, you guys have been super supportive throughout this whole thing. I actually just applied to test Oh, I haven't even started studying, but I wasn't sure how long it was gonna take for me to get my letter to test. So I already applied and I'm so excited. And if you're in nurse practitioner, practitioner school, I can say I don't really remember too, too much about nursing school, about how much everything cost. I remember taking the hearse review and it was like 300 some odd dollars, but I don't remember how much my influx was. I wanna say the same, like a couple hundred dollars, but I can't be sure. But if you're in nurse practitioner school, be prepared to pay out of the wazoo for all of it. Because if you get hired on with somebody, they may or may not pay some of your fees for stuff, like for your DEA, they're, it's like almost $900. Uh, it just depends on where you get hired and, and whatnot. But for your actual like testing, it costs money. To get your transcripts, costs money. To apply for your membership, costs money. Board of nursing, costs money. <laughs> for everything, it costs money. So be prepared because if you're not prepared, like if I didn't already know this, I mean, it, it'll set you back. And then if you wanna do a study session, I mean, they range from like a couple hundred bucks to six, seven hundred dollars. So it'll set you back a thousand, twelve hundred dollars if you're not prepared for it, which is really crazy considering most people don't have a job when they graduate uh, and they don't have an employer willing to cover those expenses for them. So that's what I did this afternoon. I still need to edit, but it was dinner time. The girls are finally done swimming. Emmy was in here watching these shows, but Autumn's still in a bathing suit. You ready for Papa? I know I'm making it. So I have a bunch of rice and beans left over, witching hour, and I'm browning up some meat. We're gonna have tacos. Okay, we've been working on sharing. Go ahead, can you share one with Sissy, please? Because right now she just stuffed two in her mouth because she didn't want to share. Can you give one to Sissy? Can you get it? She went to the pantry and got this snack out of the pantry. Give one to Sissy here, mommy open it for you. There. Can you give one to Sissy, please? We're going to share. Let Sissy have one. No, no, Sissy, Sissy. Give it to Sissy. What do you mean, why? Share with Sissy. Everly, give it to Sissy. No, Shanga, share with Sissy. Everly, give it to Sissy. Everly. Everly. Not a high five. Give, give Sissy a cookie. Everly, give Sissy a cookie, Mama. Share with her, okay, baby? Give, oh, good job, Everly. Okay, there's two more. Can you give, there's three more. Can you give one to Emmy? Can you give one to Emmy for mommy, please? Go give it to Emmy. Good job. High five, high five. Wait, high five. What about Maddie? Only one more for Chubba after. Yeah, she can give one to Maddie and then she can have the last one. Give one to Maddie. Good girl. No, okay. You, now that one's for Everly. Yeah. Good job. Mommy's very proud of you for sharing. Okay. All done. Go put it in the trash for Mommy, okay? Thank you, Everly. Mm -hmm. Oh, say Mommy made me. <laughs> <laughs> in the trash. The trash, Mama, not the sink. The trash. Put it in the trash right there. You know where the trash is, silly. You forgot it. No, not that. Oh, my goodness. 
You can't find it. No more snacks. Here. Look, let me show you. Let's go look for the trash. Remember, where does the trash go? It's right here. Look. Right here, the trash. Remember? Trash. Trash. You have it in your hand. Everly, that's the recycling. Trash. There you go. Good job. Thank you. Yeah. It'll shut it. Oh, Lord. That one's Maddie's. Okay. Here. Let's rinse it. It's mommy's turn. Ah. Big ah. Big ah. Ah. Good girl. Go ahead and spit. Good job. One more time. Let's rinse it. Let's see. Ah. Uh, okay. We'll rinse it again. Spit. Good job. Everly's turn. Brush him, brush him, brush him. Brush him, brush him, brush him. Brush him, brush him, brush him. Spit. Good job. All done, teeth. Yeah. Now you're going to rinse it? Okay, rinse it. Good job, Everly. Okay, we brush hair. Yeah. 